Hey friends, welcome back to the playground. My name is MJ. Today I'm reacting to Joyner Lucas's I'm Not Racist. You guys have been asking about this ever since I started reacting to Eminem's videos. So I'm definitely curious about the title. And as I'm already looking at the screen, I'm like, I have my guesses about what it's about, but I'm just gonna hold my horses. Whatever it is, I'm gonna like it anyway, because I'm already, I became an instant Joyner Lucas fan whenever I heard him on Eminem's song, song. So if you guys are ready, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let's press play. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Okay. Screaming Black Lives Matter, or the black guys rather be dead beats than pay your bills. Ooh. Okay. First of all, I already hear truth. Truth.com, truth.com. Okay? Listen. Please, fix us. Okay. Yell a nigga this, a nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. Mm. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. Mm -hmm. Wanna swing at me and call me racist because I ain't black. Mm. Compound that then. Okay, that's I another thing. Nigga. Black folks, we need to make up, make up our mind because, especially in the rap culture, I've seen it growing up as a kid where like this white guy would be picked on for using the right, using the word or like they would antagonize him but then there would be Hispanics using the word and their black friends would know about it and they'd be like oh yeah she can say it because she's my friend like oh all of a sudden you're entitled to a word by affiliation like can we please come to a unanimous agreement can we just like end the word altogether okay anyway that's that's probably never gonna happen I can just stop um I can stop my wishful thinking Round back then, like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then, like you was on the plantation getting down back then. I, look, I see a black man aiming his gun, mm. but I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. Real. And I don't mean just for one day and you done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. And I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still try to sell them for some weed and some liquor. Oh! Guys, when I say I've had this conversation so many times, Joyner, are you in my thoughts? Are we like, are we spirit animals? Okay. Mm. And I, I know this has to burn, especially if you were watching this for the first time. You're like, who is this white man? Why he feels so entitled? But if y'all cannot lie, okay? Y'all can't lie that this is not the truth. And I feel like another person's perspective is probably going to come in. But you needed to hear it, okay? And why I'm so glad that it's coming from someone. The, the person who wrote the song is black. So you don't have to feel like a victim. You could just sit there and take it. Mm. Can babysitter while you party on the road because you ain't got no fucking goals? You already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait. Like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight. And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate. Right. Out of my face. Ooh. He's lit. He's lit. I love this guy. <laughs> I wonder how long it took him to learn the lyrics, though. <laughs> Escape problems. You can pray for some change, but can't break a dollar. Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. They fuck the world with a make America great condom. Ooh. My boy's been back. What a beautiful play of words. Fuck the world with a make America great condom. Wow. Brilliant. I'm racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother in his I can't stand black. that. My head's in the cloud. I hate when they say that, but I, I get where he's going. I can't tell people that. I'm not racist. My brother-in-law is black. Like, okay, what does that mean? Again, once again, does that all of does that transfer on to you? Like, is your wife black? Like, what are you saying? Heard it's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lie, but I think there's a disconnect between your culture and mine. Mm -hmm. The Einsteins studied the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> No comment. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet, and that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you let your kids listen, and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu. Blame it on no drinks. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Yes. Take some freaking responsibility. Let's be more accountable. Ooh. White privilege is blaming on white kids and just blaming on white citizens. Aim it the vice president. <laughs> Bunch of class clowns. Niggas kneeling on the field, that's a flag down. You know what's so funny? This guy sounds like so many different people. He really does, especially when the song first started. I was like, is this Eminem? But then I could tell it had a little bit of a, a twang to it. So it wasn't Eminem. But then at the same time, it's like, 
He really sounds different in every song to me, to me. Then you try to make demands for this money. You gonna show us some respect. You gonna stand for this country, nigga. Oh, that one hurts. I, I felt that one right here. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but when there's a huge difference between the E-R pronunciation and the A, I really honestly don't care for either of them, but one of them hurts me deeper than the other. Just the, the sound of it, it really is what I mean, you know. I'm just prepared for this type of war. I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. Ooh. It's like you want to be so... Eminem, they took away your white card. <laughs> Not that he cares, I'm just saying. Famous, you'll do anything for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that back though, because I was talking over it. Oh. It's like you want to be so famous. Okay. You'll do anything for attention and a little payment. Mm -hmm. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants right. hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put yes, guys. Let me explain something to you, okay? I, I see a lot of comments that you guys be admiring me and stuff and saying how pretty I am and this and that. And, you know, some of you guys go a little too far. But I, I think we should just put it out there. I mean, the likelihood that, every day, that I'd ever date a subscriber is slim to none. Okay, but if you are watching this video right now and you sag your pants... I'm judging you. I'm judging you because it's 2018 and you should know better, but your choice. Fucking pants up, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do rag off. Take that goat out your mouth. Quit the pitiful stuff. And then maybe police and stop killing you. Fuck. So what the f The fact that he's pulling his I think this is about to I think I think homeboy is gonna respond. Is that what's gonna happen? Don't y'all hate me right now? Like, I'm that person that you can't go to the movies with because I'm like, what? but what's going to happen? Is he going to die? Or <laughs> Wow, he said, well, maybe the police will stop killing you fucks as if that's a good enough reason. But this is literally, I'm sure this is how some people think. And some of the stuff is legit, like, facts. And the other is like, again, no excuse. Oh, I'm not racist. It's like we're living in the same building but split into two floors. Right. I'm not racist. Mm-hmm. But there's two sides of every story. I right. wish that I knew yours. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Am I prepared? Am I prepared? Am I prepared? Oh, oh, oh this is getting good. Uh oh. Let's hear it, homeboy. I wish that I knew yours. Oh, this is deep, I man. I swear. Sorry, my heart's beating fast. I don't even know what he's about to say. Why am I like this? With all disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers. That's just where I'm at. Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? He said, with all disrespect. I'm about to start using that. Forget this being nice stuff. We're not going to tame our language. With all disrespect. Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? Okay, black man, we're listening. And that's one war you'll never win. Mm. The power in the word nigga is a different saying. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just because you got nigga friends. Uh, did I predict the song? What was I just talking about? I'm going to just start shutting up in between because then it just looks redundant. You know, like, I feel like they, they stayed in the obvious. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. That word was originated for you to keep us under. That when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. Right, but what is that though? Why is that? What is this double standard? Please don't have a race war in my comment section. When I ask questions, a lot of times it's rhetorical. Okay, so please don't fight me. I just, I, I feel like sometimes we don't realize, again, as I said earlier, that we encourage it. We, we, we claim we don't like it, but we're encouraging it. And I'm just going to say we. I don't even use the word, but I'm just saying we because I don't want to seem like I'm holier than thou. You know, like, if you, you want to abolish something, isn't the quickest way to do it is to start with you, right? But we just use it because that's how we greet each other. Why? Like, out of all the create, out of all of the delicious words we can come up with, you know, like edification. Ed edifying words we can come up with, you know, kings and queens. Okay, what's wrong with that? Why we? Why do we use the N word? Why? 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 Y'all let me know. Tell me, teach me something. Use it. We know there's a double meaning under. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not infected by the history. Mm. My grandmama was a slave. That shit gets to me, and you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga. Oh. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm saying. 
You just told this man that he can't use it. And you still calling him that. Like, are you an idiot? I can't, but that's, this, um, I feel like I'm, I'm missing, I'm going away from the subject, but this is, this is exactly what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to provoke emotion out of you. Oh, he got him to take the head off. I'm just not noticing that. Hmm. White man took his head off, okay? T tip your hat, okay? That's what I'm saying, like, wow, all right. But yeah, let's go back to what he just said, though. Like, yeah, just because I didn't feel it doesn't mean... People, I, I was reading an article about that, how, like, hurt, pain, anger, those type of emotions can be passed down I, genetically. It's very weird. This is not me saying that you need to, like, com complete, continue to enslave your mind over something that happened centuries ago, but... Why he's saying that more as a more as a like a historical thing, actually scientifically it's proven that it can be passed down. So Lord have mercy, I strive every day to not be the bitter bitch. Cause I'm telling you, if I have kids, I do not want to pass that down to them. I don't want to pass out anger, resentment, prejudice, none of that stuff. I don't want to pass it down. So let's continue this video though, because I'm giving y'all a life history. You didn't ask me for that. He said. I'm sorry, you can never fail my life. Trying to have faith, but I never felt all right. It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites, judging me by my skin color and my blackness. Trying to find a job, and ain't nobody call me back yet. Ooh. Now I gotta sell okay, that's what he's letting you know. He's trying to tell you it's not that easy. Let's, let's take it back. He's about to say it. He's about to say, now nah, I gotta sell weed. Mm -hmm. Trying to find a job, and ain't nobody call me back yet. Now I gotta sell drugs and put oh. food in my cabinet. Yeah. Crackers ain't slick. This is all a part of your tactics. So Don't talk about no motherfucking tactics. Yeah, man. Y'all think it's a conspiracy? Y'all think it's all set up that way so that they can still come back in your face and tell, it, tell you that you're not doing enough? Even though you're really putting your best foot forward? Ooh, that's deep. When I ain't making no dough, you think you know everything, but you don't. You want to copy our slang and everything that we know. Ooh. Trying to steal black culture and make it your own. Ooh. Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. He said, fuck, I'm ex... Y'all, it's exhausting. This is an exhausting topic. This was created in November 20, 28th? What the? Where was I? I think I was in Dubai at this time. Did I completely miss this joint? Oh my God, I've been asleep. Tired of the systematic racism bullshit. Mm. All you do is fall shit. This the shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. Ooh. Yeah, they don't really though. Like, they don't. You know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool Aid. <laughs> and even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama. I know that's a fact. Mm hmm. You know, mm hmm. Y'all see how the white man looking sorry? Join I knew you were up to something. I knew. Y'all see, he started. He started by playing devil's advocate. And he switched it up real quick. Okay. He said he let the, the black man have the last word. Let's hear it. Get him out and put a cracker back. Mm -mm. And run it back, run it back, run it back. Hey, Joe, no. And even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama. I know that's a fact. Mm. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back. Right. He gave us Donald Trump and that was payback for that. Man, that's real. They couldn't wait to put that cracker back. It was like, all right, th that right there, th what what America did with Barack from Barack to Donald is the, it's the equivalent of Eminem telling MGK, like, all right, this your moment. This, this is all you're going to get. Enjoy it. That was literally what I feel like America was saying. All those eight years when we, when we thought we were doing something, they, they told us that it was our moment. Enjoy it while we can, because guess what? The joke's about to be on us. And the joke is indeed... <laughs> On America, the entire universe was laughing at us. Okay. I'm not racist. I never lied, but I noticed a disconnect between your culture. Oh, did he flip the table? Why they gotta portray us to be the angry one? Oh, come on, man. Come on. I was rooting for you. Like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga. Died, nigga. And all you care about is money and power and being ugly, and that's the cracker within you. Hey. Oh. I gotta take that one back. I'm so sorry. Since he told him that that's the N word within him, he told him that's the cracker within him. Okay, let's go back. You, you don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two change. Remind you, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga. Died, nigga. And all you care about is. It's the way he said it, dog. What the heck? 
Praise Tupac. He gave him. He said he defended why he was praising him as a god. I mean, I don't praise no human being as a god, but I, I get, I get, I get where he coming from. The empower and being ugly, and that's the cracker within you. Hatred all in your brain, and slowly start to convince you. Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continues. Man, but that's what I'm saying. Isn't that what I'm saying when I said the stuff is passed on? I think we're all guilty of that. Both races, you know. We need to start passing down this mentality of whatever it is that's holding us back. We need to open our minds, okay? Blaming on Puerto Rico, blaming on OJ, blaming on everybody except for your own race. Man. Blaming on black niggas and blaming on black citizens. Ooh, look, he got him thinking now. He got him thinking. It's the black businesses, I ain't saying I'm innocent, but. Yeah, you're not, but. but. It might be any day now. Treating everybody how you want in any way how. Mm. I swear no career about the bombers any day now. Ooh, man. I've been saying that one for a while. Yep, 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 yep. I have a feel about North Korea. North Korea. It ain't safe, it ain't safe. North Korea is Eminem and we are MGK right now. Ducking every time I hear a fucking play now. <laughs> Paranoid AF. You know, I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. Mm -hmm. When Eminem went against Trump, that was the illest. He Do you see him? He's my... <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Joanna, you are a fool for this one. You are a fool, but you're a genius. You are like, yes, beautiful, no, iconic. No, we stand with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. Man. You don't know what it's like. Man, the camera didn't want to speak great today. Had the audacity to die on us. Let's continue. Oh, he's white. He let us know we stand with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a oh, lot. Oh, that was Eminem. Let's go let's, let's, let's let's back. When Eminem went against Trump, that was the illest. Mm -hmm. Even though he's white, he let us know he's standing with Yes, him. thank you, M. Him. But I cry a lot. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know. Y'all don't know. A sizzling frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops. And I know if you're about to die or not. Yes. D do you know that's the scariest thing? Is that you're not even doing anything? You're just minding your business? Like you're just guilty? By being like just what are you guilty of breathing and existing? You worry about your life, so you take mine. Mm. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. Ooh. I wish we could trade shoes or we could change lives mm. so we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. That would take time. Y'all see this man? He's cooling him. He's cooling him, and it's still gonna be some people out there like, whatever. Whatever, Bob. <laughs> Let's just go and enjoy our day. Let's go play some golf, why don't we? Like, you stupid. I'm racist. I should have done that. It's like we living in the Terrible. same building, but splitting to both sides. I'm not racist. Mm -hmm. But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine. Mm. He said, he had no motherfucking, he took him to school. He said, yes, Professor. Professor X, I know your side. But you guys can see, like, you, you guys can see already, I'm not, I, I, both sides had valid points. And I think that was very important what he did there. Although, I do think that Mr. White Man was very misconstrued. And he had, black man had no problem putting him in his place. Okay. You can't. hoping maybe we can come to an understanding. Aww. Well, I'm happy that the white man opened his arms first. Yeah, I'm weird like that. I notice everything, but that 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 meant a lot, even to me. This is not even a real occurrence, but like I'm feeling this. I'm in my feels, y'all. Some of y'all told me to bring some tissue, and I've actually made it through this video. But I think if I wasn't talking as much in between, if I used to, if I if I did this video the way I used to do them and chop it up like that, I definitely yeah, I would have cried at some point, 100 percent. They disagree, you can have an understanding. Mm. I'm not racist. Oh, that's love. What are they talking about? I want to be in that conversation. What are they talking about, man? I know it's just acting, but I'm curious. Like, what do people talk about after they have that deep of a heated? But this is what I try to say, like, I, I can only pray that me and my life partner or me and my best friend, me and people that are in my circle can have these type of talks about different topics. Like, let's get mad at each other. Let's tell each other, each, let's tell each other, one another outside of the story and still be able to hug that shit out. That's deep. Like, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's goals. This is goals. This is my life goals here. We were all humans until we race connected. Religion separated us. Girl, if I don't know how to read today, we were all humans until race disconnected us, religion separated us, politics divided us, man. I said that one loud. And wealth classified. Ooh. I don't know, y'all. I think this is why I still get along with people so very well. I'm just going to keep 
oh, okay, this is the end. He just, hashtag, I'm not racist. I'm late. I want to go and use that hashtag now, but first I'd have to create a, create a social media for me to have it, but yikes, guys. Like, this is why, as I was saying, I feel like I get along with so many different people because I... I was fortunate enough to grow up in a rigid a region of the world where we the racism thing was not as heavy let's put it that way I was so not heavy to the point that I didn't even know what it was and I had to learn when I relocated like this is a big thing you know so I have not been I'm not I haven't been really guilty all my life of doing the racism thing and even from a class thing I didn't come from a place of lack either but my mother never made us feel like she never taught us to think that we were better than people based on how much money we had and things like that. So I don't know. I don't know if it was I, if I got lucky, if it was just the values I was raised with or whatever. But like the only race that I understand is human race. Like I know that when you fill out these applications, you have to identify as something which I find to be very stupid. The fact that the very fact that, that even exists is a problem. But that's the only race that's ever existed to me. And I think that's where it's very hard for me to put people on a pedestal because when I look at a person, regardless of what they do for a living, how much money they make, what race they are, I just see a person, you know? And and maybe that's a flaw of mine. Maybe I'm maybe that makes me most people say naive or ignorant or whatever, but I consider it to be a gift because I can't imagine living my life seeing people and being able to put a label on them right away. Like all the different ways that that corners you you know, into a bubble. Like I can't, I already live in a bubble. Like I told you guys, I select and pick and choose what I expose myself to. But as far as human beings, like I try not to do that, you know, but anyway. Thank y'all for this because uh, it's been quite a day. This was a good way to end it. I really appreciate you guys requesting it. If you enjoyed this reaction as well, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe. We'd love to have you. We are having tons of fun on the playground. I'll see you guys mañana. Bye. Mwah. Ha, ha, ha.